Yo, what is happening, guys? And welcome back to the Unspeed Action Channel. Of course, we're back with another reaction. Now, today we are going to be reacting to someone a little bit different who we haven't reacted to before. We are going to be reacting to K Rhino. Let me find this K Rhino Grand Deception. Now, I was suggested this by one of my subscribers on Instagram a few times. One thing I, I might start doing, if you just want to see it, I might start doing were. I obviously have throwback Thursdays every Thursday. I, I did take a couple of weeks off of that because I wasn't really uploading consistently. But what I want to do, throwback Thursday every Thursday, you get me reacting to a song that is an old classic that I've heard before or even haven't heard before. And there's no like breaking down. There's just complete vibe out where I sing, you sing, I dance, you dance, all that type of shit. But I might bring, if you just want to see, obviously, like I said, I might bring a day where I react to smaller artists where who people, not like NF, Ren, Dax, big artists, you know, like just big art, not like them, small artists that are good and see if they have potential, but don't have that many subscribers, don't have that many views and just see what we're working with. Just get a playlist going. If you want to see that, let me know. If not, that's fair enough, but I want you to let me know. But yeah, today, that's what we're going to be reacting to. K Rhino Grand Deception. Of course, before we get into it, as always, hope you all have an amazing day. If you're not, switch that shit the fuck around. Start having an amazing day. Always trying to spread positive vibes, entertain, and have fun on this channel. Because that's what it's all about. It's all about the fun and the vibes. Now, we're going to get into it and we're going to see what he has to offer. Go. Yeah. As we move forward, Anytime you come closer to something, yep. your vision should get clearer. Am I right? Yes. You are a tool in the hidden hand is using you. Please don't be delusional. The rulers of this world practice confusing you. The people and the priests and the imams have been jammed by government scams. Mind systematically programmed. Blatant not black wrong. hatred and racism. The way they lace the whole world and nation with traces of Satanism. This place mm. is a pagan prison. The founding fathers enslaving intentions were no different than Bush's and Reagan's vision. <laughs> Okay, that, that was a fucking bar right there. Okay, that was a fucking bar. That little part, whenever he obviously turned around and said that everybody's like brainwashed, everybody's brainwashed to think a certain way, do a certain thing, and he turned around and said that it's it's paganism. We we are locked in the system. They use all this, and then he mentioned Bush and Reagan, how it was Bush and Reagan's opinion to do this, and how literally they run, always run the system to make you think a certain way and brainwash you to make you think, okay, this is what we're going to pin against each other. And he said about the racism there, they're going to use racism to pin one another against each other. And I've said this countless times in countless reactions to like Tom McDonald, etc., where it's always the case of the government will put something in the middle to make us both fight, whether it's in America, the right and the left, the Democrats and the Republicans, whether it's and religion, race, anything, they will put something in the middle and have you both fight, so then you are so distracted fighting each other, you aren't focused on who the real enemy is, which is the government. Okay, I'm gonna let him fucking say that shit again. I didn't expect him to get fucking political on this shit, but hey... Here we go. The hidden hand is using you. Please don't be delusional. The rulers of this world practice confusing you. The people and the priests and the imams have been jammed by government scams. Mind systematically programmed. Blatant Mind systematically programmed. Racism. The way yep. they lace the whole world and nation with traces of Satanism. This place is a pain. The racism, the way they trace the whole world with Satanism. They, they trace the whole world. They left the tracks for people to do it to pin against each other again like that's what i'm saying they they laced it with satanism they left the tracks for all the bad things you know to pin against each other to make people do wrong so then people would argue in prison, the founding Not even a minute in, I agree with this motherfucker. No different than Bush's and Reagan's vision. 1776, it took action. This Illuminati took form and was spawned from a Colombian faction. Yep. You flip your one dollar bill over. And if you want me to expose the true code of deception, I will show you. We live in a designed wicked system. The number 13 is consistent in Masonic symbolism. It mm. represents transformation. 12 completes a cycle, so 13 is rebirth and rebirth. Generation. Oh, that part right there, whenever he mentions 13, he says 13 is always used for, you know, bad things. The Friday the 13th, if you hear Friday, if it's Friday the 12th, Friday the 11th, Friday the 10th, doesn't matter. When it's Friday the 13th, you think, oh shit, 13, 13 is unlucky. Friday the 13th. And then he obviously turned around and said that the, the cycle ends with 12. 
and then the the 13 is like a new like a new cycle because it's not within this because it's its own fucking thing like the number itself the the friday the 13th the 13th number it's just it has its own symbol that separates it from the fucking rest. I'm, I'm gonna let him say. I'm gonna let him say it again to like so I can explain about it here exactly word for word what he said. One on one. I will show you. Right. We live in a design wicked system. The number thirteen is consistent in Masonic symbolism. Masonic symbolism. Transformation. Twelve completes a cycle. So thirteen was rebirth and regeneration. So obviously he says that um six is like six 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 is the number. So um for Satan, so obviously he says six re uh, repeats the cycle, and then obviously thirteen sorry re thirteen resets the cycle, repeats the cycle, but six is that. So six is half of twelve. The cycle ends with twelve, and then once it hits in the thirteen, you know it it starts a new fucking thing because he turns around. And he obviously says about it in the uh, in the society as well. He turned around and obviously said that they. He said earlier that they are basically controlling you. That they make this six. Even numbers have bad meanings. Six for Satan. Six, six, six. Then thirteen has unlucky. Cause like I said, Friday the thirteenth. Six, six is kind of in the middle of the cycle. Twelve ends the cycle. Thirteen restarts the cycle. It. I don't know how to explain it, bro. But you know what I'm getting at. You know what I'm getting at. He's he's fuck. He's speaking facts. It's just the way that these numbers have such thing. Like you say. If you say just, oh, pick a number, and someone says, oh, 666, you're like, why would you use that number? When that's just a number, realistically, but it's it's a number that represents these things. The meanings of the symbol are strategically hid. On the left side, you see a 13 layered pyramid. Over mm. that, it's the all seeing eye where the light shines. A sign of the devil watching over you at all times. That part there, whenever he says that it's hidden in society, so you can't see it, and then he says the left sees the 13 sided pyramid. That, that was one of the ones I, I wasn't talking about that originally, but that's a good point. Whenever he turns around and says he says about 13 being bad, then he says a 13 layered pyramid, the Illuminati as well. Okay, okay. The words Anna with Coeptus 13 letters meaning he has favored our undertakings. Will you accept this? Or will you learn the science and ignore them? Under the pyramid, you see Novus Ordo Seclorum. Translated, new order of the world, or the new world order. Authors and satanic fathers of mass slaughter. The eagle that you see on the right sits below 13 stars with a shield that has 13 stripes. And a mm. olive branch in its claws with 13 leaps, which is supposed to be in its talent to represent peace. But peace was always on a decrease. His other claw holds 13 arrows of war, set to be release and obviously he said the peace was on the decrease he's mentioned about the 13 stripes and then he says there's 13 arrows ready to be to start war to be released and he keeps mentioning everything he says about 13 there's 13 of this 13 of this 13 of this that's causing hatred that's causing war and peace is on the um the grid because nobody wants peace everybody wants this but it's the fact he keeps saying 13 this 13 that and everything he says about 13 is negative that's pushing the violence Okay. The letters at the bottom of the pyramid are fixed with the Roman numerals that equal 1776. The United States of America exists and in a deep devilish abyss with truth and paganism mixed. Every president that ever lived was foul. They gather at Bohemian Grove where they bow down before the owl. See the owl is wide and sees through the darkness of night. And there's a small one on the dollar near the one on the top right. It ain't hard to understand this government was never for us. The yep. eagle was based on of the Egyptian hawk Horus, the 13 colonies who went to wicked sovereignty and made no apology for the obvious idolatry. Subconsciously, we follow the ways of the beast and pay homage to pagan gods when we say days of the week, like Sunday, they worship the sun, Monday is moon day, Tia, the god of war, was worshipped on Tuesday. I like that there whenever he says that we worship these things that are called day of the week, Sunday, you worship the sun, moon is Monday is moon day, and then he says Tuesday, and then he's just saying about these things that are literally days of the week, and then he did turn around and say there, which I, I, I don't know too much, he turned around and said about the, the hawk or the, the hawk or the other or something, that I actually forgot now, um, is on the dollar, and obviously that represents something, I didn't actually catch that part, I'll be honest, it, it represents something bad, but it's also on the dollar, at the top right and somewhere else so the government wasn't made for us because it was all built to be against us to hold us in this prison which i agree with like but 
he, he saying something he said a lot of things i understand he said a few things that i'm like here wait a minute and like i'm actually like okay i never actually thought of that before Holding the chief god is who wednesday is named for thursday is thursday god of thunder the mighty thor mm, there we go was named after frigga notice the pattern saturday is the roman god of agriculture saturn frigga was the goddess of love the wife of odin the polytheistic theologies needed to code the rituals like trips across the sand as man takes the skull and bones fraternity the secret handshakes but understand he receives only 33 degrees he's so obviously he said about the saturday saturn and he went for all the days a week but that part there whenever he mentions about the secret handshakes um it's obviously towards the illuminati and I guess other factions as well, but mainly the Illuminati, and it's because the Illuminati use secret handshakes that only they would know if they're in the Illuminati. So say, for example, I don't really know how to explain it without sounding like just a complete crazy conspiracy first. I don't know how to say it without sounding just like a crazy complete conspiracy first, but it's basically, like, say, say I was Illuminati and you were Illuminati and we ran into each other and we were doing whatever we were doing. And I needed to let you know I was Illuminati. I'd shake your hand, but instead of just shaking your hand normally, I'd shake your hand and like maybe like press down with my thumb here and then like pr press down with my thumb here and then rotate it like that. And then as we're handshaking and you'd be like, okay, that's a, that's the handshake that's a symbol for the Illuminati. You wouldn't know that if you weren't in it. So it's the way he said there, he goes, they use handshakes to communicate because only they know the handshakes. And then, you know, Okay, <laughs> he's he's saying a lot of shit. I didn't expect to get so fucking political, dog. But he's saying a lot of shit. Believe, believes in Lucifer and Pretty other shit. deities. Many powerful and rich people are controlled by these. They even hold the soul of several of your favorite MCs. Politicians telling lies, tongues riddled with thorns, and use hand gestures shaped in the form of devil horns. No yep. fear the city harm, cause you don't know what it entails. Satan tampers with stem cells and sprays chemtrails. The so-called holidays are hypocrisy, established to use religious doctrines to commit annual robbery. Christmas split in half is Christ mass. The so-called birth of Jesus where every home has glowing lights cast. Christ the that part right there whenever he says that every holiday is used by religion to basically rob the people and he says christmas built into his christmas which is supposed to be the birth of jesus christ the birth of jesus which i don't even i'm pretty sure jesus wasn't even fucking born i'm not religious so i don't know but i'm pretty sure people have told me he wasn't even born on christmas so i don't know why they say it's his birthday but either way um, they do that, and then everywhere in the lights, because at Christmas, you're supposed to have lights up, you're supposed to be doing this, which means if you have the lights up and you have the tree up, you're paying more utility bills, which is going to the government. Um, at Easter, you have these different things where, say, Easter, again, Easter Sunday, you buy the eggs, you do this. Everything, whenever he said they're robbing you, every, all of these holidays are used by religion to make you invest money to celebrate these holidays, so then they get it back. When you're buying people Christmas presents, you're paying money, which will eventually go back to the government because that's what they want. They want to use the religion and the fun, make a holiday that you're going to enjoy and then you're going to spend money and then your money's going to go back to them. So they're robbing you, essentially. Obviously, people enjoy Christmas, but it is kind of like a, a way, a thing made up by the government where they will... They will want you to spend more in lights. They will push more ads. They will they will show you on the mainstream all these different things that you should buy this Christmas and all these different lights you should light up your house with because the money will eventually go back to them. And obviously there, whenever he said about politicians having tongue of thorns because they're liars, I've said this countless times. I've said it time and time again. Politicians, in my opinion, this is this is the way I say it. Politicians are just clowns in fancy suits without the makeup. That's all they are. They're just clowns in fancy suits without the makeup. People should be able to hire politicians for their kids' birthday parties because everything that comes out of their mouth is fucking hilarious because of the amount of bullshit. So, actually, you know what? Let me let me wind that back a little bit. Religious doctrines to commit annual robbery. Christmas split in half is Christ mass. The so-called birth of Jesus, where every home has glowing lights cast. Christ, the anointed one, mass the birth celebration. But Jesus' birth was kept secret due to the situation. The king initiated a death plot because the Messiah was prophesied to rule, so Jesus' murder was authorized. No one knows the actual date. That's why sometimes you see Xmas. X means unknown, but ignorance affects us. A fraud that was purposely flawed. December 25th, the birthday of the wicked ruler Nimrod. This whole disguise is part of the universal rise. A holy
40 profits, life being pimped and commercialized. Traditions like lights on trees, rooted in the Nicene Council in 325 AD. By Constantine, these matters were decreed. The concept of a virgin birth was actually conceived and then agreed with graven images in the temple. The fish on your car is called Onus, a Babylonian symbol. It's visibly contradictory, telling your children lies. You need to make them study Santa Claus's sick history. But yet we go wherever Satan leads us. The falsehoods we practice in his name ain't got nothing to do with Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. He, he decided, you know what, I don't even fucking need the beat at the end there. Push that beat to the side. I'm going to talk real quick. Okay, well, that was K. Rhino, Grand Deception. Uh, Yeah. He got really fucking political. I'm pretty sure he obviously starts speaking at the end there about the Christmas Xmas and they said about Santa and then you need to search up the the dark backstory of Santa, which I don't understand. He mentioned a few things about the Bible and Jesus, which I got the basics obviously, which was uh obviously Jesus. He was he was I don't even know the guy who backstabbed Jesus in the Bible. I don't know. I'm not personally religious. I don't really care for religion personally, so I don't actually know a lot about the Bible aside some things. So whenever he was talking about the Bible there, I didn't really catch much of that. So I guess you just can explain to me some bars he might have said that was from the Bible there that I didn't understand. And he said about Santa's past and obviously celebrating, but then he also said Satan. And I don't know exactly what he meant, but I know someone did say before that Santa, if you mix the letters around, does spell Satan. Which, you know, if it's true, if you, if you mix the N and A around... It is, but that might just be a coincidence, but it also is like a lot of theories of, oh, you know, this is why, and blah, blah, blah. but that's kind of what he said in a way, but you just can kind of explain it to me, because the last two parts that I didn't get, I enjoyed the whole thing, I didn't expect the political stuff, but I enjoyed that, because it caught me off guard, he had bars, the beat was nice, he had a good flow, he was talking fucking facts, and he got political, he kind of ticked all the boxes, so fucking fair play to him, I'll probably check out more of him, even his non-political stuff, assuming he does non-political stuff, and just see what he's got to offer, so okay, Rhino, y'all fucking did it, so I fucked with that, hope y'all fucked with this, if y'all fuck with the vibe, like, comment, and subscribe, as always, my links are always up here, my flow content gamer content if you want to see me stream on twitch if you want to see tiktoks all this and that is up there they're also linked down in the description box below if you want to see any of that but as always hope y'all are finger positive test negative have an amazing day hope y'all are staying safe i'll see you in the next one so uh peace. Fearless.